Well, it's a complicated case, this one here. Lori Vallow is the woman at the center of it. This is the one that we've been talking about for weeks now. We want to break it down for you. When she was living in Arizona last summer, her husband Charles died in Chandler. He was actually shot by Lori's brother, who claims that he did it in self-defense. But her brother is also now dead. Lori moved to Idaho and married Chad Daybell, whose wife had also just died under mysterious circumstances. Lori's kids, Joshua or JJ and Tylee, who once lived here in the valley, disappeared in September. And to add another layer to this story now, Lori and her new husband, Chad, the ones now in Hawaii, are also involved in a doomsday cult. Tonight, new police recordings explain what happened in the weeks following Tammy Daybell's death. Not long after Tammy Daybell died in her home in Salem, Idaho in mid-October, the Fremont County Sheriff's Office received a call from a detective in Arizona. The decedent's going to be a Tamara Daybell. Oh, yes. I was the one that actually took that call. So why is someone from Arizona wanting to know? That's crazy. Yeah, isn't it funny how everything ties together? We just have some cases down here that that got our attention with uh, Ms. Uh, Daybell. The cases he's talking about could include the attempted shooting of a relative of Lori Vallow Daybell in Gilbert in October, or the July shooting death of Lori's late husband, Charles Vallow, in Chandler. Lori married Tammy's husband, Chad Daybell, less than two weeks after Tammy died. At the time, the sheriff's office investigated and said they found nothing suspicious. The coroner ruled the death was due to natural causes. The dispatcher explains to the Arizona detective it wasn't just the coroner who didn't want to press the investigation any further. The family did not want an autopsy, so they just went straight to the funeral home, and the family refused an autopsy. Um, and the family said they don't want an autopsy, therefore the coroner just signed off and in there, and then the funeral home took Ms. Daybell? Is that how that works? Yes, that, that's pretty much how it works. A family refusing an autopsy isn't necessarily uncommon, explains retired Deputy Chief Chris Bertram. There's, there's a lot of personal beliefs why somebody may not want it. Um, on the other side, it may be a red flag that they are concealing something. But no matter the family's wishes, he explains if someone like Tammy passes away when they're fairly young with no major medical issues, even if nothing seems off. There's a high probability there will be uh, an autopsy, whether the family objects to it or not. Uh, there's going to be, uh, we've got to find a way to determine how they passed away. A